the North American Electric Reliability Corporation Critical Infrastructure Protection, or NERC-SIP, is a set of standards aimed at regulating, enforcing, monitoring, and managing the bulk electric system security in North America. Let's explore some of the main NERC-SIP standards and what they really mean. Bulk Electric System System Categorization With this standard, energy companies can identify and classify bulk electric systems, cyber systems, or assets, and ensure the enhanced protection of assets. And at the same time, this standard ensures no compromises might make the bulk electric system unstable or disrupt operations. Security Management Controls Security management controls addressed in this standard are designed to ensure that consistent and sustainable security controls are applied. This addresses security controls as they relate to low-impact systems and identifies which security management controls relate to medium and high-impact systems. Personnel and Training This standard helps to train contractors and employees helping companies reduce the likelihood of cyber attacks targeted at bulk electric systems cyber system. It aims to increase awareness among staff related to cyber security. Electronic Security Perimeter This standard aims to heighten the protection level of bulk electric systems cyber assets and prevent potential instability and operational interruption by establishing an electronic security perimeter using electronic access control or monitoring systems to allow only authorized inbound and outbound traffic to bulk electric systems cyber systems. Physical security of bulk electric systems cyber systems. This standard involves physical and operational controls in connection with a physical security perimeter, testing and maintenance program also addressing visitor control, such as requirements for visitor escorts, logging requirements, and visitor log retention. System Security Management The idea is to enhance the security of systems in the electronic security perimeter of bulk electric systems cyber systems. Typically, these components include security patches, system access controls, security event monitoring, and prevention of malicious code. Incidents Reporting and Response Planning Here, entities must prepare incident reports and create guidelines that work as a response. At its core, this CIP standard compliance divides into an incident response plan, implementation of the response plan, and communication of the incident response plan. Recovery Plans for Bulk Electric Systems Cyber Systems Here, entities must find the best way to recover from a potential cyber incident that may impact the bulk electric systems. With this standard, entities must put in place a recovery plan and follow predetermined plans for business continuity and disaster recovery. Configuration Change Management and Vulnerability Assessments in this standard, entities must highlight all the requirements related to their security policy to ensure there are no unauthorized modifications to the bulk electric systems cyber systems. These standards cover compliance areas like configuration monitoring, which requires 35 days for unauthorized baseline changes, and vulnerability evaluation every 15 months. Information protection this standard seeks to mitigate risks to the bulk electric systems by specifying requirements related to the protection of bulk electric systems information. The first step in protection is to properly identify bulk electric systems cyber system information, which should be included in the entity's information protection plan as to how information is handled, stored, transmitted, and used. Communications between control centers Protection of communication between control centers is the focus here. Plans are required to address the protection of real-time assessment and real-time monitoring data from modification, unauthorized use, and unauthorized disclosure. Supply chain management. 
This standard is applicable to medium and high-impact systems, as well as their electronic access control and monitoring system and physical access control systems. Security risk management plans and approval requirements are at the heart of the standard and include risk assessments for the procurement of vendor equipment, software, and services, physical security, instability, uncontrolled separation, or cascading within an interconnection are major concerns for transmission stations and transmission substations. This standard seeks to mitigate risks associated with these potential events through the implementation of NERC requirements. To know more about NERC CIP and how you can protect your bulk electric system, visit us at Sertric.com.